Hello friends, I am Rajini Sharsandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So through the last videos we have learned about the projection of lines which are parallel to both HP and DP or parallel to both the planes and perpendicular to one of the reference planes and parallel to the other. Right. In this video we are going to study about the projection of lines which are inclined to one plane and parallel to the other. See. This is your HP and this is VP. This is the line. This line is now parallel to VP and inclined with the HP. So you can see the inclination right now. See what is inclination. If this is HP and if, if this is the line, this angle is known as the inclination of the line with HP. See, this is the line which is parallel to VP. And now this line is inclined at an angle with the HP and this is the angle which gives you the inclination of the line with HP. So we know that when a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will show true depth. So since this line is now inclined with the HP and parallel with, parallel with the VP, the front view or the projection on VP will give you the true length. So the projection on VP or the front view or A dash B dash will give you the true length. At the same time, its opposite projection will be a line parallel to XY of short term. Right? These are the rules that we have learned during the introduction to lines. One more point I have to add to this rule and that, that is, when a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will show true length and all the true length lines will show true inclination. So we have reached at a new term true inclination. So what is true inclination? That I will, I will be coming to that point. So now this line is parallel to VP. So when you are observing from front, this line will be projected like this. Is it clear? This line will be projected like this on VP. So when you are observing from this, from front, this line will be projected like this on its front. So now you can see an angle, an angle with respect to HP or with respect to XY line. And you can see that the angle of this line with respect to HP as well as with respect to XY line is same. Why? Because this line is parallel to VP and this is true length. So, this inclination will be the inclination of the line with respect to the plane. So, actually this inclination is inclination of the projection of the line with respect to XY line, right? Since this line is parallel to VP, this was the actual position of the line. At that time also, the inclination of the line with respect to HP, that will be the inclination of the line with respect to HP means like this. That angle will be same to the previous one. So, the inclination of a line with respect to a plane is known as the true inclination of the line. Inclination of the projection of the line with respect to the XY line is known as the apparent inclination of the line. When a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, when a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will show true length and all the true length lines will have true inclinations. So if the line is showing true length, the inclination will be true inclination. So the thing what we have learned is true length and true inclination are always marked together. So if a line is showing the true length, its inclination will be true inclination. Now in the screen, you can see the physical position of a line AB which is inclined at an angle theta with the HP and parallel with the VP. So since the line is parallel with the VP, in the front view you can see the projection of the line A dash B dash. That will be inclined at an angle theta that will show the true length and theta will be the true inclination of the line. In the top view, you can see the top view of the line AB that will be parallel to XY line of shorter length. 
I hope all of you have understood these two conditions. So, in the front view, you can see A dash, B dash. It will show the true length and that will be England at an angle theta and that theta is the true inclination of the line with the HP. At the same time, the top view AB will be a line parallel to XY line of shorter length. Now, you can see the physical position of a line AB which is inclined at an angle phi with the VP. This is the position. Inclined at an angle phi with the VP. So, the line AB is now inclined at an angle phi with the VP and parallel with the HP. So, in the top view, you can see the true length and that will be inclined at an angle phi with respect to the x y line that is the true inclination of the line. In the front view you can see a dash b dash which will be parallel to x y line and of shorter length. So now we are moving to an exercise. The problem you can see in your screen right now. A line a b of length 65 mm is inclined at an angle 45 degree with the h p and parallel to v p. The point A is 25 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of the line AB. See, the question is, a line AB of length 65 mm is inclined at an angle 45 degree with the HP. See, it is angle of inclination with the HP. It is inclination with the plane. So, it is the true inclination. And since it is the inclination with the HP, it is indicated with the theta. So, theta is equal to 45 degree and then parallel to VP. Also, the point A is given as 25 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. And 20 mm in front of VP, we have to draw the projections. So, we can start with the XY line. So, this is the XY from where we can start. It is given that the point A is 25 above 20 in front of. So, we can start from there. So, at a distance of 25 above x y line and 20 in front of the x y line, we can mark A dash and A. So, the point A has been located completely. Now, it is given that the line is inclined at an angle 45 degree with the h p and parallel with the Right. So, it is given that the line is parallel with the VP. The line is parallel with the VP means the projection of the line on VP will show the true length. What is the projection of the line on VP? The projection of the line on VP means it is your front view. So, the front view will show the true length. Then, what is about the front view? Uh, what is front view? Front view means it is A dash B dash. So, A dash B dash will show true length. And since the line is now inclined with the HP, in the front view, you can see the inclination also. Why? Because all the true length lines will show the true inclination. So, we know that since the line is parallel to VP, the projection on VP or the front view will show the true length. That means A dash B dash will show the true length. That means A dash B dash will be 65. And we know that all the true length lines will have the true inclination. That means A dash B dash can be plotted at a distance of 65 mm and at an inclination of 45 degree. Simple. So, from this point at an inclination of 45 degree, you can mark a line having a length of 65 and name this point as B dash. I will explain again. The line is parallel to VP. The line is parallel to VP means in the front view you can see the true length. The front view means A dash B dash will be the true length. A dash B dash the true length means A dash B dash will be 65. And we know that the true length will have a true inclination. True inclination is given as 45 degree. So A dash B dash will be 65 mm and 45 degree. So from A dash at that inclination of 45 degree you can draw a line having an length 65 mm to locate B dash. And once you obtain B dash, you can draw the projector line through B dash. So, this will be the projector line through B dash. And we know that if a line is showing the true length, its opposite projection will be line parallel to x y. 
So since this is a, how can we draw a line parallel to x y? This is the only method of drawing a parallel line passing through a parallel to. So what will be this point? This point will be. So our projection has been completed. This is a dash b dash, and this is a b, and we can also mark the dimensions. This is. 25 and this is 20 and this distance is 20 see this line and this line should be perpendicular to this line that is the method of marking the line that is 60 the a dash b dash and the ab Should be drawn with the two one-inch pencil, and all the other thing should be drawn with the two-inch pencil. So I hope all of you have understood these concepts and exercises. And if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.